When we come back, we're going to talk to an expert from local pearl cultivation industry. But first, we're going to take a look at technology currently being applied by the Hong Kong Aircraft Engineering Company. Hong Kong International Airport is an integral part of Hong Kong's economy and play a special role in both local tourism and business development. With so many flights coming in and out of our cities, a huge workforce is required to conduct aircraft inspections and maintenance. I wonder how it's possible to keep an abundant inventory of aircraft parts to ensure efficient repairs. Well, the answer is the smart distribution system used by the engineering company, which also serves as a teaching tool at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Let's take a look. Hong Kong International Airport is a crucial component of Hong Kong's economy and plays a vital role in the development of both local tourism and business. As one of the world's busiest airports, it facilitates direct flights to approximately 150 global destinations through about 120 airlines. After the pandemic, the monthly takeoffs and landings for both passenger and cargo planes have increased to approximately 20,000 flights. Supporting these busy flight operations is a significant team responsible for inspecting and maintaining the aircraft. An airplane is an incredibly complex machine consisting of thousands upon thousands of parts. And the maintenance process requires meticulous attention to detail. The certifier here is inspecting the engine, which is an important task to the airworthiness of the aircraft. This aircraft engineering company operates on a large scale at Hong Kong International Airport, providing 24-hour support services to over 100 airlines. In addition to being a maintenance center for aircraft, their warehouses for spare parts are also an essential base for their operations. So, so we have a total of five warehouses here in Heiko, um, some looking after consumable and expendable material, uh, looking after customer warehouses, bulky items and so on. Uh, and we also have three warehouses over at the uh, air airport terminal building. Uh, and the total square footage is 200,000 square feet. When it comes to managing a big warehouse full of parts, having enough people on hand is definitely important. But using machines to help transport and organize those parts can make things a whole lot easier for aircraft maintenance crews. This smart distribution system can take instructions from operators and deliver the necessary parts right to their hands, which brings a lot of benefits in terms of manpower and time. We have six robots here and two charging stations uh, to support the robots. Um, the shelving that we've got behind us allows us to fully utilize the, uh, the full height of the, the building behind us. Um, and we're able to process 120 uh, transactions per hour um, in this warehouse. So we, we save a lot of time and effort with people walking around to do the manual pick, which could take up to three minutes per pick. So with, a, with six robots working continuously uh, and without needing tea breaks, uh, we can uh, really maximize the efficiency, both, uh, both of the, the space um, and, and time. This distribution system is not only available for large enterprises, but also for educational purposes. Recently, a similar system was installed at the Polytechnic University, where it is used in conjunction with their self-developed mobile robots to transport goods to even further places. Transporting goods within the PolyU Industrial Center using human efforts alone can be challenging. But this robot can take the lift and deliver the goods to different floors of the building, making the process much more efficient. Robots can assist staff and students in industrial centers and provide public logistics services to educators. Considering the characteristics of multi-level buildings, it is crucial to plan robot routes through effective software. And this robot actually consists of, uh, you know, different uh, sensors together. So when they arrive in the destination, they're going to scan the map of this uh, location and continually get the data in here so that when they see some obstacles, like the people standing in front, they will plan the route again. 
So our instructors will store their teaching materials inside and also the researchers and the users in our project base will actually store their materials inside. The robots are actually uh, enabled to take the lift because it has some IoT devices so that it can communicate wirelessly with the lift using some kind of uh, Bluetooth technology at behind. And the difficulty is not only the technology but because uh, the lift is having some safety considerations so we are having a difficulty or challenges to discuss with the lift or the um, managing departments of the PolyU. The founder of the parent company of this delivery system is actually a graduate of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. The company has leveraged the manufacturing advantages of the Greater Bay Area and opportunities in the mainland market to achieve rapid growth. They have also successfully sold their delivery system to domestic and international markets with an estimated business valuation of 2 billion US dollars.